when I worked on my science fiction or science fantasy movies like Star Crash, like Hercules, I did a lot of work on the coloring because uh, I remember as a kid when I saw Invaders from Mars and I saw the, this island Earth, American movies, those movies had very strong colors. They're, they're all the Technicolor kind of color, you know, which is much stronger than today's. So I did try to recreate that with my movies because I love that kind uh, of colors. I'll be the new emperor and I will be the master of the whole universe. Star Crash was born because Star Wars suddenly became a major hit all over the world. So the producer of Star Crash, which had refused to do Star Crash when I first offered him, actually he was a Frenchman living in Paris, he was an American man living in Paris actually, he refused to do Star Crash when I first proposed him the project, but a couple of months later Star Wars opened in America and he called me back and said, uh, I want your project, I will finance it, but the two pictures were quite different, you know. Sure, if uh, Star Wars had not been made, I was not going to do Star Wars because nobody would let me do it. Being me and a Ray Ariausen fan, I wanted to do a kind of a Sinbad goes to space, a kind of Ray Ariausen movie, adventure fantasy movie set in outer space. The kind of movie I always uh, wanted Ariausen to do, but kind of movie he never did, too sad. So I did it, you know, in my own way. I put in it all the kind of thing I wanted to see on the screen uh, as a viewer, you know. So I didn't think this is gonna be a movie for kids or for grown-ups. I was enough grown-up when I made it, you know. But uh, I was still loving all those things which people say those things are for kids, but I think those things are good for me. Now I'm more than 15, I still like those things, you know, so I think even when I go to 70s, I'll still be liking these silly things for people, but uh, I love space, I love adventures, I love uh, monsters, skeleton fightings, you know, I don't see, I love them when I was three years old, four years old, I love them today. And uh, if they come uh, and tell me, hey, there is a new movie with a skeleton fighting a dinosaur, I'll go immediately to see it today. Well, in fact, I play Stella Star. It's a beautiful name. It was a name uh, that my mother, in fact, wanted me to be called. So it's, that is a nice, nice start for me. Uh, Stella Star is obviously a, a fantasy figure, very much fantasy. She wears very strange exotic costumes and she's a very strong, uh, confident, with a sense of humor. I, I, yes, strong, confident, sense of humor character. She gets into a lot of tight situations and she fights with a special laser sword and she can do magic things with her fingers, which I think is rather good. I'm growing my fingernails, especially for the part, because I bite them. I think that's it, but uh, it's, it's a, a great experience for me, this. It's, a, it's my biggest part, and I really am enjoying it so far. We've only been doing it for two days, but really been enjoying it. I think science fiction perhaps chose me, rather than me choosing science fiction. I think it's very much needed now to get away from the violence and, and perhaps the too much violence and sex. I think it's nice to have a film where all the family can go and see. It's very, very important. I think people want to be entertained. I th I'm sure so. I know when I go to the cinema, that's, that's what I want.